Today I'm unboxing a Epson Eco Tank 2400. I'm not a big fan of sublimation, but it works sometimes. My sister's been begging me, encouraging me to do it for like two or three years now. I said I wouldn't spend more than $50 for a sublimation printer, but. And it's, it's not a, a it wasn't born a sublimation printer. So you can buy cartridge printers, but you can um, just a start guy, I guess. You can buy uh, sublimation printers, but they cost a lot of money. Or you can buy like cartridge-based printers. You convert them, but they still take up a lot of ink, I guess. And they're harder to convert. These ones basically just put the sublimation in instead of the regular ink. And this is the regular ink that I'm not going to use. Some of the regular colors is Epsom. 522 I guess but I keep those and maybe sell them or give them to my sister so she can use them this is the power cord I got this a few days ago from Amazon, and I'll leave a, my Amazon link in the description. But my workspace slash craft room was hideous, so I promised myself I wouldn't open it until I got that straight. And it's almost straight, so it's good enough for me. So printers always come with these blue, tape, this blue tape on it. So you always got to go through and take them off. And it's like 9 o'clock in the morning right now and I got to be to work at 10. And this is the scanner. I might use it. air coming on. I'm so. so it don't got no uh, front panel display because this is the cheap version. It's like $179 on Amazon. The regular price for $199. I bought it during Prime Day, but last time I checked, it was still $179, so. And this And they put all this tape on here to keep it from moving. So this is where the ink goes. Like I said, I'm gonna use sublimation ink. Instead of the regular ink. This is the sublimation ink that I'm gonna use. I also got this from Amazon. And there's a build link for this too. The standard black, blue, red, and yellow. And it's from, what is this? Um, Jack, somebody or another. But they had good reviews, so. It came with some extra stuff like needles. Some in case you're converting a cartridge based printer, I guess. Hopefully, I can just use the squirt from that. And this is the uh, sublimation paper I bought. It's from 
HTV run. I say that right now. So it's 8 by 5, it's 8.5 by 14. I don't even know if this printer can handle that. But I gotta get ready for work, so I'll probably record more of this video later.